Okay, test, test, one, two, three. Okay. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Pratama. I'm a Mind Midbrains intern in the Mind Tech Services Department. I'm doing Pushback 5, designing and planning for my project for this summer. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit introduction about myself. Again, my name is Ryan Pratama. I came originally from Indonesia. And my mentor for this summer internship are over there, David London and Jeff Weiler. Uh, I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Mining Engineering in 2018 and worked in the mining industry for four years. Now, for my hobby, I'm part-time engineer, part-time student, and hopefully full-time engineer. So next time we see each other, hopefully we will do some fun instead of you watching me design. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so you heard Thibaut and Jordan mention about pushback. But what is exactly a pushback? I know none of you are mining engineering graduate. So I'm going to start with a pushback. This is a boring definition, but we should read it together. It is a series of phase that we can mine considering our available mining equipment and also considering but, uh, well, some sort of geotechnical and operational code spring. Now, why it is critical? Why we do this? Why I'm doing this project? Because pushback play a very crucial role in our operation because it basically determine can determine our profitability. Now, simply, if you want to understand pushback, imagine those walls in our mind. You push it back further. That's all it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Now you are looking at the end of pushback to the pool. Now imagine yourself boarding some sort of ship. You're hovering at the top of our pit and you're looking down. This is your point of view for the next few slides. Okay. Now pushback five or BP five, we will mine the western part of the pit further. Anybody knows when we are going to start mining those pushback fire? Yeah, we are planning to mine it in 2028. That's the long way to go. But why this project? Because we, we want to be able to overcome any potential issue that might disrupt our operation, right? Okay, cool. Now, western part of the base will look something like this line. So what are the constructs in here? If you take a look at the topo, we can identify several potential issues or concerns. First, we need to keep up our primary pressure and conveyor belt area undisturbed. Second, our friend in geotechnical department actually identified some, some cracks that we need to deal with. Third, we need to maintain access and other infrastructures. Okay, now our friend in long term, shout out to our friend in long term, they already create a pushback 5 design. We will call it the original design. Now you're looking still from the top view, this is the two crests. And from it, we can generate a solid. And you can see this part is the one that we actually mine for pushback 5. But there are several problems or a potential concern. Okay. First, if you take a look closely, it will disturb the primary pressure and conveyor belt area slightly. Second, we cannot mine the crack area completely. Third, it didn't re-establish really access to our three of three west dam areas, which is really pretty or important to our operation. Fourth, it didn't specify enough flat area for the fuel docks. Last but not least, if you take a look at the bottom of the pit, or like over here, some sort of notice, there are some notices say that we need to fix at 1600 elevation level. Okay. Knowing that, we are trying to create the new or refine our optimized pushback path design. This is the two press. Again, we can 
generate a solid from it, and this is how it looks. Well, I'm gonna try to help you see what's the difference because somehow we cannot clearly see. First, it will not disturb the primary cluster and conveyor belt area. We will make sure we don't touch the primary cluster. Second, we can mine and secure more crack areas. Right there. Third, we re-establish access to the west dump areas. Fourth, we provide enough flat areas for the fuel dock replacement. And again, at the bottom of the pit, right here, look at that beauty shape. We fixed nose and shape at the bottom of the pit. And we actually gave three more levels, three more benches, which means, which can means, more ore for us. Already, so after we create a new design, we try to identify which banks need a pioneering work. What is pioneering work? Pioneering works is, if you take a look at this line, if you can see the line, the blue and magenta line, that means there are no soil or surface above it. So how do you mine this area? If you don't have any uh, surveys in here. We're going to identify this area as the first area, so the bread deal, and we need to create some sort of access, which for this project we will name it Road S or Road South. The second area is Northern Red Hill. We need to create again another access, and we will call it the Road M or Road North. Right on. Okay. After we identify those branches, we try to create or we try to imagine how we're gonna mine it. So this sequencing will kind of give you an idea how we're gonna approach this hill. First, obviously, we fill the road, right? Road S. That will give us access to mine the banks. We reposition the road a little bit. Can mine it further down. Look at that. <laughs> this is a bit weird. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, and we eventually will reach 3700 level, which is really, really important because of what? From this level, we will try to create another access to reach those northern hill, which will again enable us to mine those hill. Something like that. Now after that, we want to create some sort of scheduling. We want to be able to tell you how many, how, how long will the project take, right? We use mining rate of 20 kdbd, which is really conservative. We provide you with two road design options. The first one is 130 feet, and the second one on the right side will be a 90 feet option. If you take a look at the scheduling with a very simple gun chart, you'll see that the second option will, will finish on week 37. The first option will finish five weeks later, which on uh, week 42. Uh, never brought it, just right in this equipment. So no, it's lost the guy. Okay, maybe a bit technical to you guys. Happens. <laughs> Okay, cool. All right, should we continue? Okay, now, after we finish the project, what will happen to our road, our access? We need to remind it, right? Somehow, later on. Now, for option two, it will take up to 13 weeks. For option one, it will take up to 18 weeks. All right, we're here again. This is the key takeaways and suggestion from this project. Okay. First one, we believe that the new PB5 design can solve the potential issue of the western part of the pit. And the second one, this is a chart or a, or a table which will tell us how long is the project going to take. So we need to spare probably 156 days on those transition periods between pushback. 
And um, okay, so Linus just said more work still needed, including providing a detail on when and where the pipeline and also power cable needs to relocate because it will affect it by our pushback. Why that? Super huge. Why is main planning become one of the most crucial work for people back then? And by the way, this is not specifically for main planning also, but for your job. Anybody have a guess? Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm gonna borrow a quote from Benjamin Franklin. If you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. Right? Okay, by that, that will end my presentation. Thank you for coming. Thank you.